So I'm sitting there covering this protest. A uh, protester went through my camera strap, took me with him, and then all of a sudden, in a split second, I realize I'm on the wrong side of the action. I'm down on the ground, and a police officer with a baton is pushing me out of the way. Pick up my camera, pick up my equipment. As soon as I get my senses back, I race and actually end up taking a picture of the guy who threw me down, um, being handcuffed and taken away. But I went to that event, I had no training, I knew nothing about safety, and uh, I just kind of went in haphazardly with sandals, much less, uh, no tennis shoes, bad mistake, and just not being very aware of which side of the crowd to be on. I took my first photo of the police officers with their guns drawn and the runner on the ground, but three seconds after that, I was right at the fence where the blast, the first explosion had taken place. And a police officer looked at me in the, right in the eyes and he says, you shouldn't be here, there could be another explosion. And we kind of met eye to eye, we looked at each other and I digested that information and I thought about it, but I didn't want to think about it. And I knew it was a dangerous situation. What if there was another explosion? What if another bomb was gonna go off? And that's probably drove me more to react to be angry enough to stay in there, to go beyond the limits of probably a normal person would, would run backwards. I looked for an entry point onto the sidewalk, in through the fence that I could get closer to show what really happened. So as the crowd got unruly, I realized I needed to be higher up. I needed to have a bird's eye view of what was going on to assess the situation. As I was climbing up through a parking garage and looking down, I realized that shots were starting to ring out. Suddenly, there was a, what turned out to be an Emerson student, female student, lying on the ground. Um, she had been shot through the eye with a rubber bullet and lying lifeless on the ground. The cops are clearing everybody out. Everybody's telling me, you know, you have to get out of here. But I thought, I didn't see any other cameras around. I thought this is an important picture, nobody else is here. So I decided to stay.